was actually pushing to make it easier to take pornographic pictures of children. Well, there you is, go. Uh, I mean, you know, is, uh, do they not think? We, we, like ordinary people? What, well, do, what do you think is going on? Well, what, what, what we have to do is, first of all, when you look at young offenders institutions, it is Her Majesty's young offenders institution. Right. Prisons, Her Majesty's prison, HMP. Now, Lancaster prison, for example, was built purely for to give money to the Crown. We've got Prince Andrew messing about with one of the most prolific child traffickers, richest anyway, i.e. Jeffrey Epstein. We have to start looking at these people. And probably. asking the questions. And asking the questions. Why is Prince William being groomed to be king? I mean, Prince William, I'll tell you what he has had, the Order of the Garter. Mm. And his job, he went straight into the city and he was, he was I I interested in money. Yeah. That, that's what he was doing. We have Charles, we have Serious allegations against. Charles. I don't like calling them princes. I don't like prince. Well, we're, we're just going to we're just going to yeah. play the game in this. Yeah, program. well, we're 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 playing the game in, in this one. You know the um the the knighting yeah. of someone, Sir Jimmy Savile. I mean, why it, it, why why yeah. why Neil? I mean, this is a Christian society. Well, now yeah. the Bible tells us you do not kneel or bow or to take, anyone, or take an oath, or, or take an oath. Yeah. And then when we get this knighthood, you know, the, right. you know, the, the, the Queen owns the island of Jersey. Right. So we, we don't own it, Brian. The right. UK doesn't own the island of Jersey. Okay. The Queen, the Crown, owns the island of Jersey. Let's get that straight. Right. And she has taken no responsibility. All she's got to say, this is outrageous. She said something about Hamza. The guy, is it Hamza? The Hamza, guy? Hamza. Hamza, the, who, who was just sent to America. Yeah. She said, why is this evil man still here? Yeah? yeah? Why doesn't she say, why has all this evil stuff been going on on the island that I own? She should be saying this to Phil. It's to a, Phil. It's a very good what, question. We, what happened on our island, Phil? Don't you think we should like speak up and say, like, you know, we don't know nothing right. about it, or we're, we're going to get it sorted out? Okay. Nothing. Absolutely. Bill, we've got nine minutes, and there's a, there's a few things that I think we ought to ram into the programme. Yeah. Just sticking on, on politicians and what is about money you've mentioned. Now, a figure which I think you said to me last night was that to keep a child in one of these young offenders institutions, so it's being run by Serco, the biggest company you've never heard of, and, and I think you said £175,000 a year. Right, well, that well, that's Serco. But then you've got councils that have um, secure um, children's homes, quarter of a million pounds. Quarter of per, up to per up child to, per, per child up per to year. quarter of a million pound per child per year. You can go and foster a child, Brian. Okay, on the backs of buses now. Yeah. We were talking about it this yeah. morning. Um, got a spare bedroom? Are you over twenty-five? Why not foster a child? Yeah. So children. Not have you got children? Have you got a family? Could you accept a child into your family? A little, you know. Have you got a spare bedroom? Are yeah. you over 25, want to foster a child? Yeah. So they will get up to 500, uh, it starts at about 400 and something pound a week per child, nearly 500 yeah. pound per week. A lot more if the kid's got learning disabilities or, or any kind of incapacities about yeah. it, a lot more. Yeah. So this is big, big profit. And that is why the kids have not been put out for adoption because the money is in the fostering. Yeah. Well, we, we know even, even with the legal fees around... Um, uh, family courts, we're talking about a minimum of £20 billion pounds a year. Crazy. And if we if we tot, tot up the sort of figures that uh, Bill is talking about here, and please go away and, ch you know, audience, please go away and check this stuff yourself. We're also talking about um, tens of billions of pounds around. Children are big money. Yeah. Now, the oh, could, could, I, could I just say one thing quickly? Yeah. That People say to me, Bill, why, why do you think these people are killing the children? Why are they burying them? You know Lenny Harper's investigation, you know? Yeah. Lenny Harper's investigation. You must see, uh, you know, please watch Sun, Sea and Satan. If you don't watch any more of our work, just watch Sun, Sea and Satan. Um, you know, it's, um, it, they say to me, why do you think these people are killing these children, yeah. Bill? Because today's victims are tomorrow's witnesses. You've got to get your heads round this. Today's victims are tomorrow's witnesses. If you're 
you've got a good life, but this you killed a child. It's going to yeah. come back on you. you. You know what I mean? Absolutely. If you if you don't actually kill them. Right. Let's get in our remaining little film clip if we if we can. Oh. And this is where you have the opportunity to um, speak to Harriet Harman. Uh, to ask her a few questions. Harriet so, Harman and Ed Balls, or is it just Harriet Oh, uh, it's Ed Balls as well, and uh, and also the union man, whose name escapes Dave me. Prentice. Right. So Dave Prentice. So Dave Prentice. We've just about got time to get this clip in. Okay. And Harriet, right, can I, if I can just give you one minute. Sorry, We're talking sorry, about child sorry, abuse. Sorry, We'd just like to talk to you about um, the cuts and how it's going to affect child abuse. Harriet, you don't want to talk about child abuse. I understand it, Harriet, but you got, you're here to talk to people on the street, and we represent... So Harriet Harman doesn't want to talk to us about child abuse she today. She didn't say that. Okay, at the moment she doesn't. She didn't say well, that's what you said to me. I gave her a chance. I gave her a chance. Mind your own business. Let's go again. Let's go again. Let's go again. Chop chop. This way. You've got to get the face. Get the face. Harrier. Harrier. That's common assault. You'll get arrested for that. I'm a woman. Harrier. Get on me. Harrier, I, Harrier, I need to push you on this. Harrier, why won't you talk to us about child abuse, Harrier? You're part of the, you're you part of the to government. Stop. You Could, need don't to touch me because that's, don't, you just touch you me. Need to right, stop. so Harrier, you are not, Harrier is not willing to talk about child abuse. And what, how are the cuts, how are the cuts going to affect child abuse? How are the cuts, how are the cuts going to affect child abuse, Harrier? Harriet, 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 how are the cuts? How are the cuts going to affect child abuse, Harriet? I'm how are the... very sorry, she's talking to people who've come here for So, a okay, so Harriet's gone to the police officer here, um, and we do carry a press pass, and Harriet Harmon does not today wish to talk to us about child abuse. Okay? Thank you very much. Thank you, officer. That was Harriet Harman. She didn't want to talk to us about child abuse, and I think I know why. In 1978, when she became a solicitor, she urged the ministers to make it legal for people to be allowed to take sexually explicit images of children, um, and she wanted that to be made legal as long as the children in the images hadn't been harmed or abused. So that's Harriet Harman. Harriet Harman was in favour of making sexually explicit images of children and she urged ministers to do that. So maybe that's why Harriet Harman didn't want to talk to us about child abuse. Thank you very much. <laughs> Maloney and um, I represent the film company called Prime S Films and we're interested in it, what the cuts are going to do okay. against child abuse well, and young offenders institutions. Hey, mate, I think mate, it's very important hey. that we make I'll talk to Ed, not you, you're here to talk to people. I'm, uh, I'm just going to the BBC. Ed, I right. represent the lower working right. classes and I'd like to know what you're going to do and what your government, let that girl alone, I want to know what you're going to do to help child abuse okay, and you've been, been, you've been talking about this before really what are you going to do really about child really abuse in our young offenders institutes Bill, yeah, yeah, so you don't want to talk about it. You, well, talk to me about it. Let go. Let go. What are you going to do about institutional child abuse operating in this? There you go. Yeah, there you go. Well, so they, they don't want to talk about this. No, they, they, they don't want they, to talk at all. No, they don't. Right, we've got a couple of minutes, just a couple of quick um, uh, slides to put up. This one turns me cold. We now know what's been going on in the BBC. And this is the BBC a few years ago where the BBC were advertising children for adoption. They had a magazine called Families Wanted. I have a copy of that magazine. You open it, children being advertised like puppies or iPods. Yeah. Uh, where are these children? Where have they come from? Have they been willingly given up? So that's one. Um, the second one is that we know that the BBC